Hello everybody! First of all, I would like to say thank you. Thank you from deep down. I never thought that my channel would grow over 100 subscribers, so I don't really know what to say. I'm stunned by the subscribers and all the people commenting on my videos and it feels very very good and I didn't expect it, it to be like this, so thank you, really thank you for everything and everyone who is subscribing and supporting and sharing love and is interested in what I'm doing and in my work, so yeah, really 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 thank you, a big 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 thank you. So yeah, why? do I make this video? It's because I wanted to let you guys in a little and talk a little bit about me and a little bit about myself because there are still things that I'm doing away from YouTube so yeah my time is very limited. So the last couple of months were pretty intense. I had to work very very much and uh, yeah for those of you who don't know this and I think none of you knows this um, I'm a professional educator and I work in a youth welfare institution so yeah as you can imagine it's a very time intensive job so <laughs> I must really take my time to do videos and uh, plan my day. Overall I still have a girlfriend, I still have a life um, off from YouTube. I really do enjoy the hobby very very much so I'm always happy to share things that I do uh, with my hobby, painting, crafting. I didn't have as much time as I would like to have to do these videos. That's simply because I don't earn any money with YouTube. So being monetized is a very long path you have to take and uh, it's all up to people like you who are supporting this channel. Every subscription helps me to reach my dream of having a, a hobby related YouTube uh, channel. It has always been a dream of me but uh, I never thought of it being realized but lately with all these subscriptions we have now I think over 300 subscribers. Yeah I know 300 doesn't sound much but I never expected it to be this high. I'm very excited and uh, as I said before I would like to say thank you to everyone, everyone who is supporting this little nerdy stuff that I'm doing. It really warms my heart to see that people are there outside and um, supporting this and have the same passion and interest in the things that I do. Anyways, what can you what can you expect from this channel in the near future? Lately I've visited my friend and uh, we played a little bit of zombie side, Green Horde, and I was totally hooked. I already bought some uh, zombie side boxes and uh, I will soon share a little bit of uh, painting tutorials. I think I will uh, let the camera roll and uh, maybe you can see how I paint things. That's what will be coming up next I think. Otherwise I have very very much so many projects that I would like to make and it's always the time. It's always the time that is uh, not there. So. I have to figure out what to do and uh, what maybe what what you guys would also like to see. Maybe we can get a little bit in touch and communicate with each other to let me know what you would like to see on this channel. I think there will be quite a lot of interesting stuff. I've also written a Dungeons and Dragons campaign uh, with yeah my own story, my own world. I've created some maps and uh, I want to let you guys in a little bit more about that. So this is also what I'm planning and there will be terrain building tutorials. Building the miniature cave tutorial went absolutely crazy um, for me, in my perspective. <laughs> so I think uh, we are quite under 17,000 uh, views right now, I think. Let me check that out. We have 333 people subscribing to the channel, which is amazing. And the time-lapse video of building a miniature cave has now 16,796 views, over 400 likes and... Uh, thank you. <laughs> I never thought such a video would get so much attention and uh, it's completely crazy. I, I remember the one time I, I woke up, I haven't been on the fantasy edge very much. So I checked out and see, oh, okay, what's going on, maybe that's something new. And I, I suddenly realized, oh, this video has over 1000 views and I thought, wow, that's crazy. I never thought of it. 
soon the subscribers uh, followed and yeah it's so nice I, 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 I can't uh, put it in words really so what's coming up a little bit zombie side stuff I will paint some zombie side miniatures and cover this with my camera and so Otherwise, there will be a lot of stuff coming actually. There will be fantasy miniatures, I will do some Dungeons and Dragons miniatures, I will do some terrain, I will do some... So there are a lot of things coming. Uh, I still have to finish the Pacific Island board that I worked on. Uh, I think there's still a little bit left. For example, the uh, waterfall, I have to do the waterfall for the... Um, for the waterfall? <laughs> For the uh, cliff that's what's coming up talking about terrain what i can tell you for example what i always plan on doing i wanted to recreate one of the towns of my one of my most liked video games uh, this is red dead redemption 2 and i would like to create valentine from red dead redemption 2 uh, if you aren't familiar i will blend you in right now what valentine looks like and I wanted to recreate it in miniature, so you can play a game of Dead Man's Hand, for example, which is a Wild West styled uh, Western miniature game where sheriffs and cowboys and whatever are shooting each other up. So I thought this would be pretty cool to recreate in a miniature and to play a little game of uh, Dead Man's Hand, for example. But otherwise, I have so much stuff that I want to make. I recently thought I could maybe start a Dungeons and Dragons campaign which is also the problem because I don't have time so I wanted to create a Dungeons and Dragons campaign with my characters and everyone who was participating in the game is telling a story my thought was I would play this game and write down some notes on what is happening in each session and then after that recreating this in miniatures and tell you guys the story that happened so far to my players and the story I've uh, created. So it's, it sounds a little bit crazy, I know, but <laughs> I think it, it could be quite cool, but the time. It's always the time, the time, the time. The factor time is a very, very, very huge part of this hobby. You have to have a lot of time and I don't have it right now. So the least I can do is inform you people that I'm still passionate about everything, but it will take a little time. Um, I will also try to improve my work. For example, I want to give you better quality in my videos. I want to um, perform better. I want to make it more exciting and uh, bring more people to this hobby than I already have. The feedback I get from, from everyone is fantastic. So <laughs> I will continue my work, definitely. If you want to help me and uh, bring me forward, bring this channel up, it's always been a hobby and it's always been a passion. And if I can create this channel and grow the channel to be such a big part of my life that I can continue doing this and even develop this and make it a little bit bigger, for example. So I have really, I make money out of it, for example. If Just imagine. Just imagine I make money out of it. I would definitely put more time in this channel and bring this channel a little bit up and make more content, of course. But right now, as it is, this is only the spare time I have during all the other things that's going on in my life. So I can't really afford it. So I have to make money um, the way I do. And I like my job, I really do. I like the kids and uh, I'm very excited every day I go to work because each day is a different day. That's very cool. And to see these people growing up and develop their personalities and uh, being a part of it, being part of somebody who had some uh, bad impacts on their lives uh, early on in their lives. And uh, you are a constant in their lives and you uh, walk the way. You take them along a little bit. It's just an honest thing to do, I think, and I really do enjoy and like it. Even it's a little bit tough sometimes, but still, after all, I didn't want to change anything. So I'm quite happy right now. So yeah. I simply thought I would let you guys, I would like to let you guys know what I'm up to right now and that the channel is still in development and things will be coming in the future. If you have any questions regarding me or regarding the channel or if you have any ideas, just tell me. Just tell me. I'm happy to see every like and every response on what I'm doing and I always try to answer each comment so you guys know that I'm into this. So 
if you have any advice, any information, any questions you would like to ask me, just go for it. I'm always happy to get in touch with you guys. In the end, all I can say is thank you, thank you, thank you very, very much from the bottom of my heart. Uh, stay fit, stay healthy, have a nice day, have a nice evening, have a nice morning, whenever you're watching this video. Since then, see you next time, guys. Thank you.